Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news for console fans. Now, last week, AMD announced that FSR 3 is coming to their next generation architecture, but they also hinted that it's possibly coming to the RX GPUs as well as RDNA 1 and RDNA 2. Too. Now today we're also going to talk about the possibility of a mid-generation refresh. Now first off we got to talk about FSR 2.0. Now I've said this many times before that FSR 2 needs to be implemented on most games on the Xbox Series X as well as the PlayStation 5 to achieve 60 FPS and above. Now recently we've seen that Gotham Knights as well as the Plague Tale Requiem was running at 30 FPS on the consoles. In the case of Gotham Knights I do believe that if there was better optimization on that game we could get above 30 FPS. However with a Plague Tale Requiem that game it's just really demanding especially on next generation hardware such as an RTX 4090. It is a demanding game and I understand why this is running at 30 FPS on the consoles. Now I was under the impression that if you added FSR 2 to this that we could get higher performance on that title. However it appears that they're already using an upscaling solution TAA and if FSR was added it just wouldn't add too much more performance. So it is what it is. Now I will say that this is not the norm, this is the exception to the rule. Most of the games on the Xbox Series X as well as the PlayStation 5 run at 60 FPS and above. We have a lot of titles that run at 120 FPS or close to it. So I don't think it's all that doom and gloom that a lot of people are talking about. I do think it will be a problem in the future. Right now I don't think we have anything to be worried about. I think most of the games are still going to run at 60 FPS. However, I do have some concerns. Now, I have an RTX 4090, which is a very powerful GPU. AMD last week announced their 7900 XTX as well as the XT, and these offer a huge uptick in performance compared to the Series X's 12 teraflops. I believe the 4090 is like 82 teraflops, and the 7900 XTX is 62 teraflops, which is a huge gap compared to the console. Now, to give you some context here, my RTX RTX 4090 runs Unreal Engine 5 at anywhere from 60 to 80 FPS. Now I would say on average it's about 60 frames per second. Now that is an 82 teraflop GPU. Now a lot of people have been saying oh it's going to run at 60 FPS on the consoles. It's just an early build of the game. No, it's not going to run at 60 FPS on the consoles. We already have an Unreal Engine 5 demo right now, the Matrix demo and that is running at 30 FPS and below. I do believe that these next generation consoles are going to struggle with these next generation engines. I do believe towards the end of 2023 we're going to see a lot of these games running at 30 FPS. Now this is where a mid generation refresh would make sense. Now with this new technology from AMD it's a lot cheaper for them to produce the hardware. So we could get a next generation refresh that could be around the same price for more performance for the simple fact that it's easier and cheaper for AMD to produce the hardware. The easiest way around this in my opinion is to implement FSR 2. Now I don't know why FSR 2 is not being utilized properly on the Xbox Series X. Like I said I think it's something behind the scenes. Something with the dev kits but this should definitely be running on the console so I understand some of you guys skepticism thinking that FSR 3.0 will come on the console however AMD's Frank Azure has said that FSR 3 is indeed going to work on RDNA 2 and RDNA 1 hardware as well as the competitors and that's the only reason for its delay so in theory this could make an appearance on the Xbox Series X and I do think it would be a huge uptick in performance now, FSR 2 is already a big improvement in performance when it's added to a game. FSR 3 adds two times performance over that. So you can just imagine the benefits that that would have on the consoles. And I think that would probably be the easier way to get this console generation to last longer and for games not to run at 30 FPS. Now, 
Could this be the case? I don't really know because like I said, I'm disappointed on the implementation of FSR 2 on the consoles. It's pretty much non-existent. So how can we expect FSR 3 to make an appearance? However, it does make sense to me that this would make its way to the consoles. I hope to hear a big announcement from Microsoft stating that this technology will indeed make its way to the Series X. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Do you think that a mid-generation refresh is inevitable, or do you think that FSR 3.0 will make its way to the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comment section down below, and like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.